we are going to acknowledge the presence of economics in our day-to-day -day activities. Can you think about some of the various activities that we perform in our day-to-day -day lives? Maybe something as random as going to market for shopping and buying products, such as books, stationery, food items, gadgets, or for that matter, anything. Now, let me ask you, if you have ever wondered what goes in our minds while we purchase a product? Well, I'm sure that we all have a quite similar thinking pattern and therefore I believe that before deciding to buy a product, we all tend to think rationally, isn't it? Well, of course, yes. We all think whether the product is useful or not. What is its price? Is it worth the amount that I'm spending for it? Or maybe, do I even like it enough to buy it? And a number of other such questions, right? Now, the seller also is no different from the buyer. That means the sellers also undergo a rational thinking process before they sell their products. They think whether the consumers will like their product, at what price shall the product be sold, or maybe at which market should I sell the product, or how many competitors are selling products similar to mine, and other such questions. Now, as you can see, in both the scenarios, we are actually concerned about the human behavior of both the parties involved. More specifically, I mean how an individual behaves in different situations having different resources in hands. And that is what economics is all about. Basically, economics is the study of human behavior that involves making rational choices in the presence of limited resources. In the next video, we'll talk more about economics and its needs. So until then, stay tuned.